Well, hi there, and how are you today? Today, I am bringing you the BMR 1959, the doll that has the great big shirt, mesh shirt, and the dual colored pants, and the hat on. So, this arrived just yesterday for me, and so, as you can see, you can see the, um, the box right here. And this is the last female doll from this line that I was waiting for. So as you can see, we have the BMR 1959 here, and I believe, okay, yep, and again, as I said before, it looks like a shoebox. So anyway, but when we open this up, here she is. We have the BMR um, tissue paper, and here is the doll. This one has a red background. Now give me a moment and I'm going to break her out of the box. So I have her out of the box and um, as you can see of course she comes with this BMR 1959 certificate. We've gone over that I like the certificates. She also comes with this stand and the stand of course says BMR 1959 on it and so this is a um, you know, the 1959 dolls are the 60th anniversary dolls that, that um, Barbie released to celebrate, you know, Barbie being around for 60 years. This doll is on a made-to-move body. I think I paid, I paid a little bit more for her than what I would have had to pay if I got her right off the, you know, right off the hop. But um, I didn't know about these dolls at that time. Now, I'm going to say that... Um, well, let's look at the doll first. So, as you can see, she has, she's a dark skin doll. There we go, she's a dark skin doll. She has these long, this long hat, and it's a red and white hat, and it says BMR 1959 on it. It's soft, it's fabric, and it does have some lining on the inside, so it is a well-made hat. So she's wearing this giant, here, let me take it off. She's wearing this giant shirt. Um, now, I would use this shirt as a sleep shirt for the Barbies. I guess I would. But I, I am not a big fan of these giant, giant shirts. But we are going to be taking this off and see what we have from here. So it does come off over the head. Now, they did want to put some time into making her look nice though into into it because they do have the tag sewn right in the bmr 1959 which okay i like that of course the shirt has a bmr 1959 in several colors and rainbow colors which is nice okay so without the giant shirt on see what even with just that shirt on i could live with this if i had to if this is all i had to dress her with i could live with this so she has a white tank, tank shirt on. It does not fasten the back, so it just comes up and over her. She's wearing dual colored pants. So she has these blue um, checkered pants on one side and yellow checkered pants on the other. And um, they also are, they're just elastic pants. And they are gathered at the ankle. And she's wearing these green kind of clogging boots which um there's a lot of detail on them and i ought to paint those boots up to really bring out the detail but i i don't i don't hate this part of the outfit I'm not over keen on the color of the boots if they were black i'd like them better but still i could live with this i think she has a pretty face and you, you know about the 22 points of articulation now what i would like to do with this girl though is i'd like to the braids aren't bad. I don't mind the braids. I really don't. However, I would like to see, I would like to try, try some other looks on her as well. So I'm going to um, take her hair down and try on a couple outfits. We're going to give this girl a photo shoot.
I found this fashion pack that I hadn't opened up yet, so I'm going to try some of these clothes on. 